hello wonderful people thank you so much for taking your time to check my youtube channel today welcome back to my youtube channel this is abraham Uluwatosin adeyemi in my today's video i want to talk about how to know that you are called into the ministry how to know that you are called into the ministry now i remember uh after i finished my uh, high school and i was you know i have a burden in my heart to serve the lord in full-time ministry and as i was talking and discussing with one of my friends you know uh, who uh who goes to another church or who at I me mean, who attends another church and he was telling me how we need to go see uh his pastor so that he can you know tell us whether i'm called into the ministry or not now we have so many misconceptions about you know ministry or you know whether you are called into the ministry or not now the word ministry is found 22 times in the King James Bible that I use. And the word ministry means service, labor, and work. So think about this. Service, labor, and work. So by the definition of ministry, I believe that every believer is called into one ministry or the other. Now we see in the Bible that Jesus Christ chose the disciples to be part of the work and the ministry. And that is why in the book of Acts chapter 1, uh, when the Bible was talking about Judas, that he had part and obtained part of the ministry. So of the work that Jesus Christ did in three and a half years, Judas Iscariot was part of that work and service. No, so the ministry is the service and work. Now, what does that mean? When you are in the ministry, it means that you are rendering a service for others or to others to the glory of God. So, whether you are serving in the church, you are cleaning in the church, you are doing a ministry. Whether you are singing in the choir, you are doing a ministry. Whether you are serving as a Sunday school teacher, if you have that in your church, you are in the ministry. Whether you uh, you go so many, you are in the ministry. So whatever you are doing for the Lord, you are in the ministry. And there are so many examples of the ministries that we can be involved in. You know, in the book of Acts chapter 6, when the Greek, uh, the, the murmur against the Hebrews because their women were neglected in the daily ministration. And they chose, you know, seven men of honest report, those deacons, and the deacons may serve the minister who are to serve in the tables, okay? And he said, we will not leave the word of God and serve tables. So, and he said, we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. So, when you are preaching the word of God, you are ministering, you are serving, you are working, you are doing uh, the work of the Lord. So, to have an idea that, you know, you have to have a dreams or visions to know whether you are caught into the ministry, I think is not biblical. And that is why every believer, we need to understand that one way or the other, if you are serving in the church, you are called into the ministry. So now we have some people who are called to be pastors. We have some people who are called to be an evangelist. We have some people who are called to be, uh, I mean, to be a uh, teacher. So um, those are the available uh, you know, positions that we have today. I mean, prophets and apostles, you know, I believe that those uh, titles and offices are no more in operative today because we have uh, the completion of the word of God. We do not need any more uh, extra biblical revelations and, you know, we have, I mean, the revelations that God wants us to have today. So we have pastors, teachers, and also pastors, teachers, and evangelists. So those are the uh, three of, I mean, th so those are the three titles that we have today. So how do I know that you know I am called uh, as a pastor? Listen now, you can know that you are called as a pastor through a desire. The Bible says in the book of First Timothy chapter three, if any man desire the office of a bishop, he desire a good work. So through a desire, we have some people who desire that. Listen now, uh, I want to serve God. You know. And I desire to serve as a pastor. I want to serve God. I desire to serve as a bishop. I want to serve God. I desire to serve as you know, as a 
as an evangelist i'm called that is what i believe that i have burden and the zeal to do so whatever you have the zeal to do in the ministry that is what you are called to do so every single christian is called into one ministry or the other and that is why we have several bible passages you know that encourages believers you know about the ministry one of the things that i want to uh, i, I want to uh, share with you in second timothy chapter 4 verse 5 the bible says but watch thou in all things and your afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry so one of the things that god is expecting of you is to do your ministry diligently and in your ministry as you're serving others you know uh, we need to take the heed and we need to be one in second corinthians chapter 6 verse 3 the bible says giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed so in our service to god we need to be very careful that we do it diligently sincerely as we have been called to serve god every believer is called into one christian service or the order so that is all i have for you on whether you are called into the ministry or not so don't forget watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you can get the understanding of you know of what i'm saying in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12 in the bible the bible says for the perfecting of the sin for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ so the purpose for which those are uh, bishop are uh, persons i mean bishop are uh, persons uh evangelists prophets teachers were given to the church for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ so everyone in the church has a part to play all right thank you so much for watching my youtube channel and the lord bless you